Okay, prospecting. First thing I do is you go to this place, United States Census. I'll give you the URL so you don't have to jot those down. But um, I'm looking for towns that are fairly good size, you know, 150,000 to, say, 70,000. Um, I've already pre-looked up this one, so I'm going to make this video short. Um, some town in Illinois. I think this is near Chicago. But you, you grab a town, you copy and paste, you highlight one of these towns, copy and paste it, you bring it to this website, which is uh, a kitchen and bath dealer website. And it lists uh, a bunch of, uh, uh, you know, who's a member, who, who's, who's involved in such business. Um, this is great because there's a lot of concentration, a lot of, a lot of competition here. There's over, there's over 200 different people. There's, uh, 113 uh, designers, so a lot, of, a lot of activity. So what I do then, I want to see that. I want to see a lot of a lot of options here in this small area. We only want to search from maybe 20 miles out. So when you put uh, put in the city or state and hit search, just do 20 miles out. Then you go to Google and you type in something like kitchen cabinets or kitchen remodel. So, and then the town name, okay? Um, and you want to make sure that there's what they call a three-pack, which looks like this. Uh, this is the three-pack right here. And we don't want to really concentrate on these these companies here because they're already winning. Um, so we want to uh, hit more places and then scroll down a little bit and... Um, you know, start with this website or this one or this one. It'd be nice to have a, a name of a company that has bath and kitchen in it. Kitchen cabinets, cabinet corporation, that's good. Philip Metal Cabinets, I probably wouldn't bother with somebody that does metal. Builder's Cabinet, that's good. T2 Cabinet, Imperial Kitchen Cabinet, there's a lot of them here. Um, so I, I looked at a few and... Just looking at this website, I can kind of tell it's probably not mobile friendly. Here's another example. Just kind of looking at it, you know, some of the fonts are small. Um, images. Um, you got to feel like this one is pretty damn obvious. That this isn't a mobile friendly website. This one I can just tell. Um, again, here, this looks like it's pretty dated. And then you go over here. Um, it, and I'm right. Um, all those websites weren't mobile friendly. So we got one here. And here's another link. I'll, I'll, I'll send you this other link uh, to so you know where to go. Basically, want to copy their uh, URL right in here and just verify that that's not mobile friendly. So here's another one of the websites that weren't mobile friendly. Another one, and another one. So the next stop, next step is you go to a place like this, Manta, and um, you look for the business. Basically, you know, go over here, um, look for this company here. Uh, let's see, contact. They have a contact? Yeah, contact us. You go to their contact page, and that's basically, this tells you all, really. Patrick L. Borg, okay? That's the guy we want to probably talk to. And he's got a cell phone. Hmm. He's got his email, he's got a cell phone, so he's got everything we want to do to, to uh, um, contact him. And these other contacts might be good. So I'd, I'd write, I'd do all of them and, and put in a spreadsheet. The columns you want to uh, set up is um, company name, state, phone number, contact, mobile-friendly website, yes. Has to be a mobile phone website. And then whether or not it's a WordPress site. Um, I'll show you the link to figure out what uh, word, how to figure out the WordPress site in the uh, in the notes. But um, so this this guy would definitely be on our list. Uh, and you do the same thing with all the other uh, sites. You you can use either Manta if you can't find anything if they're not listing the owner's name. Or you can also use the Better Business Bureau. A lot of times they're signed up. 
um, and I'll give you those links too. And uh, the goal is to really get a hundred, and then we'll start from there, take the next step from there. But um, uh, I think I'm remembering most of the stuff you know.